Well, welcome back everyone to the Mod Showcase. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful week so far. My name is Leaf and it's so great to have you guys back here again for another little tour of some really awesome mods this week. Uh, as you guys can tell, I really haven't finished the map just yet. Uh, I've been kind of putting it off for quite some time and we're already a little bit too deep in the season, so I will get that fixed up for the next time. But before we do get started, I do want to say mods are officially not supported by Frontier. I guess they're, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, when you do mod, you kind of do mod at the own risk of your own game, but if you follow all the instructions, if you follow all the tutorials, you guys will be modding like a breeze. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right into it today, starting with the oh gosh what's the name of him i think it's the burmese mountain tortoise these guys are beautiful so of course these guys are also known as the asian forest tortoise and these guys are made by narwhaler these guys came out beautifully already you can tell that they're so much more unique from the other tortoises that we already have in the game because of their very kind of like you know beveled shell uh they look incredible because of this they kind of have these really awesome scoots coming on over here and they look amazing because of it. And they also kind of have like a whitish kind of face, which I think is pretty cute. Look at these guys go. But yeah, these guys are also known as the Asian forest tortoise. And if you guys are having like little Asian areas or you just need something in like your little aquariums or something to represent Asian forests, these guys are perfect for you. Even if they do kind of do like a weird Severus thing over here. But yeah, these guys are so freaking cool. I love them so much. Check them go. Look at him go. What a nice little man. And they also have unique babies as well, which I think is a really awesome touch right here. So I think they also do have juvenile scaling as well, so that's really awesome just to have, like, you know, your tortoises kind of grow up like that. That's really awesome right there. So amazing job, Narwhaler. Narwhaler is kind of going to dominate this entire mod showcase today, um, <laughs> so we have a lot of stuff from him, especially the stag moose otherwise known as a cervicles i want to say Cer cervalsi scotty yeah sure <laughs> so this guy is an extinct version of the moose that we know of today and they had some very unique uh antlers going on so you can kind of tell that they have like this weird kind of swooping design and narwhaler always manages to like absolutely nail antlers they look so incredible I really do love that. And they look so unique from the regular moose as well. They have this beautiful kind of like, I don't know how you describe it. It feels very much like a uh, sandy orange kind of skin. I don't really know, but it looks so incredible. They also have some very beautiful like, you know, shapes, markings going on. In case of you guys that don't know, Narwhaler is also a really awesome paleo artist. So seeing him cover even more paleo animals is also really amazing. I love to see that jazz right there. And they also have a unique baby as well. Always gotta love the babies. I love the little spots that they have going on right there. But look at him. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest little thing ever. So in case of you guys are working on Mesozoic zoos or something, these guys are really awesome for you. And now we are moving on to probably one of my only mods, the Showcase. Uh, very proud of this one, though. This one is indeed the Marabou Stork, and that one just aged up right before our eyes. That's awesome. Uh, kind of upset, though, because now we don't get to see the really funny-looking baby. But either way, the Marabou Stork is an African stork species, obviously, uh, and they're really incredible. They're like one of the first animals that you see in the opening of The Lion King, which is awesome. And they have this beautiful, beautiful thing going on with like this neck pouch or something. And they actually do use that to regulate their own temperature when it does get too hot or too cold. And I just think that's incredible. But these guys are some of my favorite mods I've ever worked on. I had a little bit of help from Jen on this one, but these guys came out so freaking good. I really do love the texture that they have going on with like the head and the beak. I'm very proud I was able to actually do that. And of course the feather work was really fun to do as well. I'm starting to get a lot more accustomed to Substance Painter, so I just am so happy with how well this guy came out. And hopefully we could actually see a baby come out here pretty soon, because I am very proud of them. But, um, yeah, how are you guys doing? Alright, maybe we won't get to see the baby, but you can see it for yourself if you do download the mod. By the way, all the mods are linked in the description right down below, in case if you guys do want to play with any of these, which I highly do recommend. 
Now this one is a whooping crane. This one is made by Giorno Pizza and Didums, coated by Giorno, model and texture by Didums. And this one is wicked cool as well. So this one is found around Asia and I want to say North America. Okay, so just North America. Just in those small little pockets and they are very endangered from what I remember. Yeah, only around like 600 left in the real world. So that's kind of scary to think of, but these guys are so freaking cool. So in case of you guys do want to have a little bit of a conservation story happening in your own little zoos, these guys are really perfect for you when it all comes down to that jazz. Check these guys out. I really do love them. And they also have babies as well. Uh, the baby models came out amazing, and they also have that little bump on the head, which I think a lot of crane species do have in their babies. Not really sure why he's kind of glitching out right there, but maybe we could just chalk that up to a frontier problem. But no, I really do love them. The kind of texture on the beak came out really good. I feel like a main issue from some people's mods this week is that they don't really like showcase how beautiful these guys actually are in game. So you could tell just like how detailed this skin is over here. And if I just take the field of view and kind of bump it up all the way up there, you could really see just how incredibly detailed all these guys really are. But yeah, that's about it for the whooping crane. Moving on from here, we also have Jen. Jen has absolutely loved the stork rig, or rather the crane rig, but this is also really awesome for storks. And this one, of course, is a saddle build stork, kind of named aptly so, because of the little saddle that they have going on on their build. But these guys are incredible as well. These guys are native to Africa, which I think is pretty cool. So in case you guys do want to get some more African representation, that is perfect for you right there. And they even have this little, like, um, I don't know, this little thing on their chest over here. I think the males only have that. So if we do find, like, a female... Oh, I guess the females do have that as well. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was under the impression that only the males had them, but they look incredible. Look how beautiful the colors came out on these guys. Even the feather work on their rump over here, that is incredible to see as well. I feel like Jen is always so good at her mods, and I always love seeing what she comes up with, because she handles these unique animals so well, and you guys aren't even ready for what she has going on right over there. But before we get into that, we should probably get into probably one of the most anticipated mods ever. This is, of course, the Shoebill Stork. Uh, it was kind of like, you know, all the people were chomping at the bit to get this rig, specifically for the Shoebill, and Narwhaler was able to get it out first, and gotta say, it looks incredible at that. These guys are so freaking cool. You often see these guys kind of depicted as nightmare creatures, and they kind of are. I've seen them in real life before, they are very creepy, and they kind of just stand there, actually. They don't even move around this much, they kind of just like, sit in one place, and kind of like, stare you down. And that's exactly what they do in real life. I was so lucky to be able to see these guys in Tampa, and they're some of my favorite animals ever. And the babies came out so cute as well, but also kind of creepy, not gonna lie. But these guys are incredible creatures. This is some top-notch quality right here. And I'm so excited to finally get to build for these guys because I've been waiting for a shoe build for so freaking long. But you know what? We finally have them now. So I think that's fantastic. Now moving on from here, we have probably one of the only terrestrial animals. Uh, one of the only mammals this week because it's a big week for birds. Um, but no, this is actually the European Ground Squirrel, which is kind of like the European version of the Prairie Dog. This one is made by Thomas, otherwise known as Let This Username Not Be Taken on Nexus, so keep your eyes peeled for that. But these guys are wicked cool, and again, this is another thing that I'm saying. I feel like some of the pictures don't really show off how high quality this texture really is, because, I don't know, it has a lot more detail happening than you actually see on Nexus. And I just really do like that. My only problem with this is if you kind of see them kind of like make some stops over here, the fur shell really isn't kind of linked up. I think, yeah, you can kind of see right there, Thomas. I'm helping you out, boss. The fur shell, you just got to regenerate that and then you are all good. It'll be a really awesome mod for our European friends to start making and using, really. 
uh, because, I don't know, just having more European diversity in the Nexus is always amazing, and I really love seeing so many people handle so many smaller ones, like you and Ginger Toast have been doing some really awesome stuff with European mods, and I love to see that all happen right there. And of course they can dig as well, just like your little prairie dog, so in case you guys do want to have a full European zoo, these guys will make a nice little alternative for that. But moving on through here, probably my favorite mod this entire week. This one is the Spoon Bill, not to be confused with the Shoe Bill. These guys are really beautiful, specifically the Rosette Spoon Bill. These guys are native to North America, as well as like, you know, the swamps and bayous of Louisiana, Florida, and stuff like that. And they're so freaking beautiful. They have so many colors going on. They're perfect for all of your tropical and wetlands aviaries, and they look so beautiful. Spoonbills are easily some of my favorite birds in the entire world just because of how goofy they look. They're kind of related to pelicans, if that, if you know, you could take a guess from there. But no, they look incredible, and Jen has absolutely nailed it with these guys. Even the little babies, look at them, they look like tiny little shrimps. I love their tiny little beaks too. Jen, you never cease to amaze us over here. And of course, I just want to take some time over here to visit our endorsement checkpoint. Yes, this is going to be a regular stop on all of our mod showcases from now on. But I do want to just pop over here, maybe grab a little bit of a drink with you guys, and kind of talk about the importance of endorsements. So of course, endorsing mods always does help out creators. It helps us get a lot more recognized, and you can easily endorse all the mods that you've downloaded by just going right to your download history on Nexus, and then clicking the thumbs up. It really does help us a lot more with gaining visibility. It really does help us feel good about ourselves. And you know what? That's probably one of the best things you guys can do. So that's just a little bit of an endorsement checkpoint over there. Make sure you do that even if you're watching this video, because we do have a little bit of a walk to our next destination. But yeah, you could just access that really easily through your download history on the Nexus Workshop, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But last but not least, we have a really awesome mod to check out, again, by Narwhaler. Uh, this one is a commission, by the way. By the way, commissions are the new hotness in the Planet Zoo community, and if you guys ever do want to commission something, you just contact a creator. Even I do commissions, so feel free to hit me up. That's my little bit of shilling for today, but that's about it. But no. Uh, anyways, we're just gonna pop right in here. Normally, these guys should swim. Narwhaler is fixing that right now. But, um, no. These guys are the white cheek pintail. And these guys are incredible. So in case you guys do like waterfowl, and even just decorating your ponds and stuff like that, Narwhaler absolutely has you guys covered. And I think, what happens if I just get rid of these? I'm just gonna see if they actually would go in the water if I do get rid of all, like, the enrichment and stuff. But these guys are incredible. So of course, these guys wouldn't really walk on the ground, unfortunately. Since they are based on the, um, flamingo, uh, they kind of do have longer legs than it appears, so they actually do have invisible legs going down to there. But that is no issue, because once they actually do get in the water, they're really, like, it just works so well. Let me see if I could actually try and get them to go in, because it really is amazing watching these guys swim. I just want to make sure that you guys at least give these guys a chance, and kind of see if they do, like, you know, fit your style. Uh, I know Rihanna and Bongo have made mods like this. I know Bongo's working on a Mandarin duck, kind of like this. But in case if you guys do want to fill out your water sections, your lakes and stuff like that, these guys are perfect for you. And they, of course, look amazing as well. But that's about it for our entire showcase. Um, I really do hope you guys enjoy. Definitely let me know your favorites in the comments down below. Uh, my own, of course, is going to be the Spoonbill, because... He's a beautiful, dapper little fella. Check him out. But I think we're actually going to end it on the shoe build today. Because who doesn't love shoe bills? But anyways, guys, I do want to thank you guys for stopping by. It's always a pleasure. Be sure to like, comment, and maybe even consider subscribing in case if you guys are new here. It really does help me out, and it really does help the creators out to get a lot more visibility on all of their awesome mods. But all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. Take care, and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.